Hello guys, in the previous part of the tutorial, we have set up the EXP-266 Node MCU microcontroller and run web server on it. Then try to control the relay to switch on and off throat web browser. So in this video, we are going to set up and build an Android application to control our EXP-266 Node MCU microcontroller over Wi-Fi network. So, let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to use Android Studio software. If you don't have it, just download it from developer.android.com or just search for Android Studio in Google search. Then, click download Android Studio here. With license agreement and accept and download. When the download is finished, just install it and open Android Studio. We don't start a new Android Studio project. In this tutorial, we are going to use the complete project that I upload in the GitHub. So go to the web browser and go to my GitHub page. The link of the GitHub I put in the description of this video and in this video we are going to use the Android code application so we just download or clone here download and zip when download is finished just unzip the file I already unzip here and open the folder in this video we are working on the Android code here this is the application that we are going to open so just go to uh, Android Studio and open an existing Android Studio project. If Android Studio requests you to update the render, just click update here. After that, just wait for the application is syncing. When it's finished, just go to the app here and Java and com.combinsoft.myru and open the main activity this is the main activity.java file the first thing you have to set up is the IP address of your node MCU here so before you set the IP address of node MCU just go to your node MCU and plug your node MCU to your computer then open the I don't know IDE and go to serial monitor then reset your node MCU just click the reset button here after you set the reset button the node MCU will reboot and show you the IP address in the serial monitor this is the IP address of your node MCU just copy Go to Android Studio and paste the IP address here. Make sure you put the slash in the end of the IP address. Next, we are going to see the user interface of the application. Just go to the RES or resource file folder here. Go to layout and open an activity made.xml. This is the user interface of the application. In this application, I make four button relay to four channel relay. Here you can see the room light, mirror light, bed light, and table fan. Okay, now let's switch to the main activity.java file. So this is the main activity.java file. If you see here, we have the button that I already show you in the interface. We have four button. This is the button for the room light and this for the mirror light and bed light then table fan if you see in the in the function we have the string variable is the url rl that means url of the room light and we have the url variable here in this variable we store the ip address and then we plus with the room light here this also same we but we uh, plus with the mirror light and this plus with the bed light and so on plus with the fan. 
So if you want to see how this application is working, this application is work when you click the button. After you click the button on the application, the application will send the HTTP request to your node MCU. Okay, we show you this is the web browser. We open the our node MCU address. This is our node MCU. If you click the home light, you can see the the address here is the IP address and then plus with the home light. This is same with this function you see here. And same also with the mirror light and bed light and square. So we go to the Arduino IDE and we can see the the function of the room light here. When you click when you click the button of room light in the Android application, this function here we will call. Here is the name of the function, it's the room light state. This is its function, room light state. Yeah. And another thing in the function, if you see here the class will be called and you can see the class we pass the URL parameter here and it calls this function and then update status. The update status is the function that we request the status of all the relay state from the node MCU. Here is the update status. Here the update data function you can see here we plus with the status tag or you can go to the web browser again and put the status you can see we have the JSON object here RL stand for room light and room light is on and ML stand for mirror light and VL stand for bed light and fan if we with the room light to off here and we go to the status again you can see all status is 0 0 0 0 that means all off so we go to the update button status if you see in the application when you open the open the light that means the status of the button will become green that means it's on and the red means off you can see here if the room light equal to one mean that mean the room light is on so we set uh, the button to the power on here if you want to see where is the button image is stored in the application you can go to the rest again and go to drawable and go to button on and off here this is the button for the off and this for on Yes, very simple. Same as the mirror light and uh, bed light and fan. Here, if the if the status is not one, that means zero. We set the button to the power of image. Here is the power of image. Okay, that is short description of the application. After that, we are going to run this application from our mobile phone. You can run with the virtual device or you can run with the Android phone device but first you have to uh, connect your phone to your computer. Now I connect my phone with my computer. You can see here the name of the phone will be appear and choose the phone that you want to debug and then click OK. In this state you have to wait for a while okay when the android studio finish build application it will automatically open in your phone and in this case you can see the application of the phone if the background of the application is green that means it's already connect to your web server in the node mcu so just uh, open the room light here you can see the relay is on mirror light, bed light, and table fan. You can see.
Yes. Okay, this is all for Android application. But in this case, you can only connect to your Node MCU on the same Wi-Fi network. If you want to connect globally, you cannot connect. We have to do some configuration to your router. So the next part of the tutorial, I will show you how to configure the router such as the forward port, set the static IP address to the Node MCU. Make sure you subscribe this channel for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.